Doesn't taste like mouthwash. <coughs> hey, 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 Lee Wackler here. Welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. I hope you're having an awesome day. Today, I thought I'd try out some BuzzFeed hacks and see how they go. I don't have many things in the house that I could probably use for these hacks. I'm not that good at doing things like this, so let's just see how this turns out. Number one is putting blue or black ink into a red pen so people don't steal it. However, I could only find an orange pen, so let's just try that. I've got my black pen and my orange pen here. Take them apart! got this thingy magic and then we take this one apart and check that out and let's see if it works. Well it, it fits! That's a good start. I mean let's try writing. Re write It works! <laughs> that is the most pathetic hack ever. I think anyone's just as likely to steal this pen as they are to steal a black one. If someone steals my pen, then I'm coming after them. But I thought, what's even better, is you just use a pen like this. It's huge! And then if they steal it, then you're like, you've got my pen because no one else has a pen this big. Huh? I mean, this could be a weapon. You could like just go up to someone and like shank them. Jeez. This is ridiculous. Anyways, apparently hack number two is about using a, a spring from an old pen and putting it on your phone charger to protect it. I don't know what the heck it does, but I, and I don't know how you're meant to get it on there. What the heck? What the frick? I think this hack's just stupid because how are you meant to get this thing onto here? Look, there's an end on it. What about this one? You'd have to take the spring apart and then put it back together and that'd be virtually impossible. That's stupidest hack ever BuzzFeed. Just saying, you should maybe change that one because it's a bit stupid. Okay, hack number three is using a staple remover on khakis so that you don't destroy your fingers because when you try and do it normally it destroys your fingers and you're like, ah, my fingernails just broke off, ah. Maybe a bit more dramatic, maybe a bit less dramatic than that, but you know, apparently you can just stick this in I did it! Yes! Woo! 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 Number four I think we're on is about hiding your valuables in a sun cream bottle when you go to the beach. Like you chop the top off and put your valuables in there and put it back in. I was like, I don't have an empty sun cream bottle. Who carries around an empty sun cream bottle? I mean, come on, sun cream lasts a long time. So I was like, what could I use? Hmm, let's just use some rubbish. <laughs> So I've got an old bag of granola. I mean, who's gonna steal that on the beach? So like, just um, let's just open this up. And then look, I've got a Kindle, I've got my phone, just, you know, shove them in. There we go. I mean, what sun cream bag could hold a Kindle and a iPhone Plus? I mean, come on. I've got a better solution here, Buzzfeed. You should. You should take up with this one. It's a lot better. I mean, who's gonna steal this? Maybe me, actually, because I'm quite addicted to going out. Number five says to empty out an old chapstick. Got one here, except I don't know how to empty it, so there's still a tiny bit left. So I might just shove a piece of pa paper in. I could maybe use the spring for this. Maybe not. But it says to put emergency money in a chapstick. I mean, I feel like I'm more likely to lose the chapstick than I am to lose the money, to be honest. But you know, let's give this a go. Okay, there, I've got some money. Let's roll it up. This isn't gonna fit in now. I'm gonna have to fold it in half. I mean, it, this is bigger than my chapstick. Look, bigger. What the heck? Destroying my banknote here. Isn't that illegal? Well, I don't think I'm destroying it, to be honest. My banknote's just fine. I've folded it up. I can't get it in. Oh, these banknotes don't roll up. They just turn into squares. So, not circles. They're just annoying, okay? I can't get it in. It's gonna get stuck in here forever and ever, and I'm never gonna get my money back. Well, that's as far as I can get it in. There you go, store your emergency money like this. I mean, who's ever gonna know there's something in there? Not me! Lost it. It's gone. I've lost it already, whereas still got my wallet, haven't I? 
the next hack is to use a trouser hanger clip thing to seal bags of like popcorn and crisps. I don't eat crisps, so I brought some popcorn. Here we are, I got some sweet and salty popcorn. Let's just eat some. I mean, to be honest, I could sit here and eat this whole bag, so... I don't really need the clip. But let's try it out, just for hack's sake. Let's put this on here. Yay! It clipped! You could do that with anything! I could get a bobby pin, I could get a paper clip, I could get anything. I could sell a tape it. That's not a big deal to me, that's not a good enough hack. Okay, the next one, it's an Oreo, using a fork with an Oreo to dip it in milk. But I don't dip biscuits in milk anyways, and I don't have Oreos, so I'm going to try it with a digestive, even though there's nothing to stick the fork into, but let's try it. <laughs> I've got the glass of milk here. I'm not a fan of milk. Here we go. This is going to explode. Oh my gosh, it actually stuck. It's barely in, but you know, it's stuck. I'm amazed. I'm shook. I don't think it's going to fit in this glass, though. Oh my gosh, it works. Well, that was great. I mean, it works, sir. Look. They fit in the milk. I'm surprised that it worked with a digestive. Well done. I, I'm impressed with that hack, even though it's not an Oreo, and that would be a lot easier. The next one's a fun one, I think. It's for when you're running low on Nutella, which, to be honest, I'm not, because I opened this a long time ago, and I haven't eaten it. You know, I'll just eat from now, see if it tastes okay. It's a bit slimy. It's all right. This is what I'm gonna have to do for the night after I do this hack eat all this. This hack is about putting ice cream in your Nutella when you're running low so you don't waste any. I don't want to waste my ice cream to be honest but here goes. I've barely got any left and this is like the best ice cream ever. Salted caramel brownie top. Remember, small amount does plenty. That's what they all say isn't it? I nearly tried to put the Nutella cap on the ice cream. Here we go. Cheers. each other. The Nutella taste grows with the ice cream. Mm, cold. Cold. <laughs> there was a chunky bit in there and I don't know if that was from the Nutella or the ice cream. Oh well. I wasn't a fan of that one. I'm not gonna lie. I thought that one was gonna be good but no. I was a letdown. I'd rather waste the Nutella. My mouth is probably covered in Nutella and ice cream now. Yo whoa. The last hack is one for like the older people out there. You've got to be of age, remember. You know, I live in the UK, so. I'm of age, but I don't drink, so. I don't know why I'm doing this one, but hey, this one revolves around this stuff. We all know you people that like alcohol like this stuff, so. This one is about putting it, <laughs> putting vodka in like mouthwash bottle and dyeing it to look like mouthwash so that you can take it anywhere and not really get caught because vodka doesn't have a scent because they use it in like theatre to spray the clothing to clean it because that's how cool it is not like cheap so I'm gonna put a tiny bit in here and then look I melted the top of this trying to dry it off <laughs> I washed it out so many times let's just pour a little bit in here and then we'll dye it don't spill it Ryan don't spill it Ryan don't spill it Ryan that's enough to do this test. Now it smells minty, if that's anything. Isn't that just like general mouthwash? Doesn't normal mouthwash have more alcohol in it? Except this one. Alcohol free. Not anymore. So the only dye I had was sky blue gel dye. So I don't know how this is gonna work because it's gel dye. So I'm just gonna throw it in there and um, shake it and see.
see what happens. Chop the top off. We're ready to try this. Here you go. Put a little bit in, give this a shake. I hope that um, it doesn't come out. Oh my gosh! That kind of actually works. Look, it looks like mouthwash. Oh my gosh! That is so cool. If you guys want to use that, that one is actually pretty cool. That one's like good. Just smells like mouthwash still. Doesn't taste like mouthwash. <coughs> you can't tell I don't like alcohol. <coughs> well then, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you did enjoy, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. In conclusion, I'd say not to waste your time doing these hacks, except for that last one. That one was pretty cool and might help you out sometime. You never know. Make sure to share this video with your friends and subscribe. I hope you have the best day. Bye.